Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logix. This is the remove max number of edges to keep the graph fully traversable problem from lead code and the number for this is 1579. So in this problem we have Alice and Bob and we have an undirected graph of n nodes and we have three types of edges as well. So the three types of edges are as follows. The type 1 edge can be traversed by Alice only. Type 2 edge can be only traversed by Bob. And type 3 edge can be only traversed by can be traversed by both Alice and Bob. So the edges are given in this format. You can see edges of i equal to type of i, u of i, and v of i. Here the type is the which type of graph, which type of edge is between the nodes ui and the vi. You can think of this as the source and the destination. I guess source and the destination is not the correct word because this is a bi-directional edge. So you can think of it as the connectivity between the UI and VI nodes. So this is bi-directional connectivity. And we have to find the maximum number of edges that we can remove so that after removing the edges from the graph, the graph is still fully traversable by both Alice and Bob. So this graph is fully traversable by Alice and Bob if starting from any node they can reach all the other nodes. So we have to return the same otherwise minus one if we cannot remove any of the graph so let's see through an example suppose we have this example one in which we have four nodes and this many edges so in this if you see particularly we have a type 3 edge between 1 to 2 type 3 edge between 2 to 3 1 to 2 we have a blue line 2 to 3 we have a blue line and then a type 1 edge between 1 to 3 red line type 1 edge between 2 to 4 red line type 1 edge between 1 to 2 1 to 2 red line and a type 2 edge between 3 to 4 so a green line for type 2 edge if you see carefully if we have a type 3 edge between 1 to 2 why do we need a type 1 edge between 1 to 2 because we can use the type 3 for both Alice and Bob so this So we can use this red line, we can use this blue line instead of this red line. That means we can use the type 3 edge instead of type 1 edge. So we can remove this, this edge. And if you carefully see, we can also remove the edge between 1 to 3. Why? Because we can traverse to 1 via going through 2. So why do we need this 1, 1 to 3 connection as well? So we can remove this as well. So if we remove these two node edges, the graph is still traversable by, completely traversable by Alice and Bob and they can start on any node. So let's see the approach. So for the approach, we are going to use a union find method. So in this uh, union find method, let me give you a brief about what a union find method is. So in a union find method, we have a parent of i and uh, we have two operations find and union in the find operation we traverse recursively traverse the parent array until we hit a node that is a parent of itself and in the union array in the union function uh, we give two inputs and find the representatives of both the inputs and then one of the input is put under under the tree of another input so let's go through the approach then you will understand what is this so first of all we are going to create two union find instances so a union find instance by mean i mean a union find is a class and we are going to create two instances one for alice and one for bob and then we are going to initialize the number of edges required in in the graph so this what is the edges required this is the necessary number of edges like in this graph the 1 to 2 type 3 edge is necessary the 2 to 3 edge is necessary 2 4 edge is necessary and 4 3 edge is also necessary so all these edges are actually necessary and the edges required will store this number actually and we are going to reduce this from the total edges and while giving the answer so 
after initializing the uh, this instances and variables firstly we are going to process the type 3 edges uh, we include all the type 3 edges because it can be used by both uh, Alice and Bob and we'll check if this uh, inclu inclusion of type 3 edge will reduce the number of disjoint sets then in that case we can keep them and then similarly we are going to process the type 1 and type 2 edges try to find the union if successful we increment for type 1 then type 2 and then we do a final check and as I told you we return the length of edges that is the total number of edges minus the edges required as the answer and if the graph is not connected we return minus 1 so for the same example firstly we have created a union find instance then while processing the type 3 edge we found that yes this reduces the number of disjoint sets so the edges required becomes 1 and then for type 3 between 2 to 3 the edges required become 2 because the union result was yes for both of them for type 1 and type 2 we see we again do the processing but we do separately like if any one of them gives yes we increase the number of edges required so for the graph 113 uh, I'm sorry this should be uh, 124 actually this should be 124 the result gives yes and the Bob results give no so the edges required becomes 3 it is because between the 2 2 and the 4 we require this edge so Alice requires this so edges, re edges required becomes 3 and similarly for the type 2 edge between 3 to 4 we re the Bob requires Bob requires this so it becomes yes the this reduces the disjoint set for Bob so the edges required become 4 and then the graph becomes fully connected and we can return simply the total number of edges minus edges required so edges required was 4 we return 6 minus 4 that is 2 that is the answer